Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Now unless you've been living under a rock for the past two months or, or maybe on the planet of Mars, you may have missed that there is in fact a new distillery on the Isle of Skye. Exactly. Isle of Skye will immediately remind you of Talisker. Now why is there a small bottle of Talisker on my table? For two reasons. One, the distillery that I would like to talk to you about today is also from Skye, but the comparison with Talisker, which will be made, is in my opinion the wrong way to approach this new whisky. So let's just get rid of this one right away. Because I would like to talk to you today about the inaugural release from Tora Veg. Tora Veg is the newest distillery on uh, the Isle of Skye. It was founded in 2017 and thus the whisky has to be young. It's only three years old. It just it was just released. It's the Tora Veg inaugural release in their so-called their so-called legacy series. But I think making the comparison with Talisker is not the right way to go about this. I do believe that many people will want to do that. I think it's wrong. So there you have it. That's just my opinion. What Torre Vague has done, in fact, is um, it has um, obliged Talisker to change their labels. There used to be on their label the uh, only distillery on the Isle of Skye. Now they had to change one word only. The word only had to be changed to oldest. And now Talisker is the oldest distillery on Skye because there is a new younger brother there. This one is shaped by Skye. In 2017, the Legacy Series, the inaugural release of Torre Vague, the new distillery. Right, this is their inaugural release and it sold out in a flash. If you blinked your eyes, it was gone. So you had to hurry to get this one quite, quite uh, upon release, actually. Uh, three years old only, obviously, distilled in 2017, bottled early 2021. It's bottled at 46% ABV and the color is like, well, in my opinion, this is like white wine. So this is bourbon cask matured, uh, very, very, Surely, I'm sure about that, yeah, bourbon cask. 46%, the new Torre Vague 2017 inaugural release on the nose. It is young on the nose. I get some raw grain, barley sugar, fresh white bread, in fact. Some pebbles on the beach, oyster sap. Uh, some soft smoke as well, but then there is a surprisingly sweet fruitiness to it. And lots of it, in fact. I get banana and juicy pears. Young apples, some green garden herbs in there as well. Now, it's far from bad, but don't get me wrong, but time has not stopped or anything. Um, and then again, it's only three years old. What do you expect? Having said that, it already has that maritime character. It clearly shows potential. And there are no off notes in there is, uh, uh, at all. So nice on the palate. Mm. The body is very light. Sweet fruit comes first now. That's joined by some vanilla, some icing sugar. Uh, and then a good drop of brackish water kicks in, giving this its clearly maritime, maritime heritage. Yeah, brackish water takes over now. It's mildly spicy on white pepper and a hint of aniseed. And now the smoke kicks in. Mm, it becomes quite grand, in fact, and it makes your mouth completely warm. This is actually rather peaty, in fact. Young, juicy, peaty, sweet, brackish. It's got all the hallmarks of a, a good maritime malt, despite the fact that it's quite young, on the finish. The finish is medium long, on green herbs, salt again, and then a nice bitterness after death. Well, like I said, quite the maritime malt and very nice in, a very nice introduction to the Torre Vague style. And it's something to look out for. It clearly shows some some great potential already but please 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 do not make the comparison with talisker talisker has been around since 1830 so this distillery came on steam 187 years later so let's not compare them there is no comparing here it's apples and pears right but may i also say that while it was released at 65 euros uh, it's not cheap 
for a three years old but since it sold out in a flash because it's a new release from sky who everybody's excited and gobbles up these bottles i now see the few remaining bottles online at official retailers for double or triple the price are retailers starting to flip bottles now as well that is something that saddens me quite a bit so i consider myself lucky to have a standing order with my my local shopkeeper who makes sure that i get a bottle of every release that is out there oof whew, lucky me right it's not a good sign if retailers start to flip bottles right just just putting that out there and that's all i want to say about that all right and that's all for this week's rambling the new three years old inaugural release from that new sky distillery tora vague maritime malt with lots of potential and that's all for this whiskey rambling and i hope to see you at one of mark's whiskey ramblings real soon and until then may the malt be with you bye bye